What's up everybody? Phil back again. Phil the Kaiju King. I'm going to do a quick video on this guy. I'd like to invite everyone to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel here. I appreciate that when everybody participates. This is the... I always step on my stupid little button on my light here. <laughs> Let me fix that. There we go. This is the Easy Hobby Eggmon Plus. Godzilla 2016 or Shin Godzilla Force Form. Here's the box, of course. It's a pretty neat little thing, actually. It's pretty small. Here's the inside. It's got a plastic shell. It was all fastened into the lid lifts, like that. Shin Godzilla in Japanese on the side there. Easy Hobby. I don't know. I don't know a lot about is Easy Hobby own Omega Beast or am I wrong or am I, I I don't know I guess I'm not intelligent this is my first Easy Hobby figure I don't know if this is part of Omega Beast as well but uh, I know on the Omega Beast page it says sculpted by K N Lin. Um, he seems to be involved with Omega Beast. So I'm guessing this is part of Omega Beast as well. If you guys educate me, it's great. It's a pretty neat little figure. We'll move on to him now. The uh, Easy Hobby Eggmon Plus Shin Godzilla. All right, everyone. And here it is. The Easy Hobby Eggmon Plus Shin Godzilla 2016 fourth form. Also on the box it says the Yashikori Operation version. Official Limited. Yashiori. Yashiori Operation Version. So this is when they were trying to take him down. That's what this depicts. These little vinyl pieces here are the trains that they were crashing into him. It's a pretty cool little figure. This uh, base lights up. Makes it look pretty cool actually. We'll look at the little vinyl pieces first here. As you can see there's flames. And it's really accentuated with the light. Little train cars there. Other pieces similar. Little wrecked train cars because they uh, put bombs and stuff on the on the trains to uh, try to stop him. It's pretty cool. Look at the base real quick. Got Shin Godzilla there. Takes four triple A batteries in right there. It's got two light functions. It's got a solid and then it's got a flashing. I tend to like the solid myself. I'll light it up here in a minute. Here's the actual Shin Godzilla figure. He's pretty wild looking. Um, got the nice burnt skin from radiation damage. Nice little dorsal plates, jagged dorsal plates. Pretty wild looking little feller here. Looks pretty good. His little hands are halfway turned up, kind of to the side, but slightly turned up. Eyes are a red pinkish color with a black pupil and nice sculpted teeth all the way around. Here's the end of the tail. A pretty cool little figure man <laughs> pretty wild looking little fella we'll do some quick comparisons of with him here then I'll uh, put it all together and light it up let's do that now all right everyone here is my uh, Bampresto Godzilla minus one figure alongside my Eggmon plus Shin Godzilla Yashiori operation version you can see the it's pretty small probably an inch and a half shorter than the uh rampresto minus one do another real quick comparison here and let's do that now all right everyone here it is alongside my 25 centimeter godzilla 1965 by x plus These Eggmon figures are pretty cool. Um, there's been, I guess, several. There was a Burning Godzilla, I believe. 
I want to say there's a 62 coming next year, I believe, with, a, with the uh, ice, I, uh, iceberg around him. That looks pretty cool, too. I wonder if the iceberg lights up. That's pretty. It looks pretty neat. I'll probably grab that one. I might try to get this 95 as well. I'm not sure. There are probably more of them. I just don't haven't seen them, but pretty cool. All right, I'll move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, I want him back, and I got him all together and got him lit up there. As you can see, the uh, accentuated getting more in the middle. It's not really in the middle. The uh, light accentuates him and the uh, blasted train effects there. I'm going to turn off my lights to kind of make it a little brighter there. Hopefully. There we go. It looks pretty cool. It looks really cool and darker even. It's pretty neat. Pretty cool how they capture that scene when they're trying to take him down with the, by loading the the trains in the city with all these explosives to try to uh, take him out. It's a pretty neat little figure. I'm uh, glad I grabbed it. Alright, I'll close out my video. I want to thank everyone that always tunes in. This is Phil the Kaiju King. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.